to Poland now, where the right-wing governing Law and Justice Party appears to be on the verge of losing power. Exit polls from Sunday's general election suggest the party won the most votes, but that opposition parties will be better placed to form a government. The opposition leader, Donald Tusk, called it the beginning of a new era. Poland has won. Democracy has won. We have driven them from power. The final results of the Polish election have not yet been announced, but Donald Tusk is confident. He believes he and his civic coalition party already have the mandate to lead the next government. This result may turn out to be even better, but we can already announce today this is the end of the reign of law and justice. Tusk was Poland's prime minister from 2007 to 2014, before he took the job of president of the European Council. In this latest election, he was determined to steer his country away from the populist Eurosceptic politics of the ruling Law and Justice Party and back towards being a liberal and active member of the European Union. He says the current government's increasing control of the justice system and public institutions is a threat to democracy. Two smaller parties, the Christian Democratic Third Way Coalition and the new left party were also celebrating doing better than expected on election night, according to the polls. Good news for Tusk, who is considering them as potential coalition partners. But as the election results came in, incumbent law and justice leader Yaroslav Kaczynski did not seem ready to relinquish power just yet. On course to win the most votes, they will likely be given the first shot to build a government. We will do everything. And I repeat what you like to repeat. We will win. Win or not, the Law and Justice Party might not have the numbers to cling on to power. The wrangling over forming Poland's next government could take months. Let's cross over to our correspondent, Monica Sharadska, who joins us now from Warsaw. Monica, can you explain to us why the winning Peace Party can't form a new government? Well, even the, if the Peace Party is the winner of this election, they have uh, the majority of the votes. Uh, they will not have... Uh, a majority in the parliament. So uh, uh, together, the three coalition, uh, the, tr the three opposition parties, uh, would have uh, the majority, and that's why uh, that's why the the peace party is not able to uh, form a government, even if they would go uh, if the, if they would go with, in coalition with uh, the right wing confederation, confederacja in Polish. Uh, uh, also, in this scenario, they wouldn't have uh, enough votes in the parliament, no majority. OK, so tell us what a new coalition government could look like. Well, the new coalition uh, would uh, uh, look like... Uh, uh, it would be a coalition of three parties, the civic coalition uh, with uh, Donald Tusk, the former uh, president of the European Council, as leader and a, a probable uh, possible prime minister. And then the smaller party, the left, uh, and the third way, which is also a which is also a coalition of two smaller parties. Uh, they are Christian Democrats. Uh, so it would be, um, yeah, it would be uh, also a, a huge spectrum in this coalition. It would be uh, a coalition from uh, very left to uh, central right, to, to central conservative. OK, and if this new coalition does happen, I mean, would it have any room to manoeuvre? Because, I mean, the, the potentially outgoing peace party is expected to retain a, a big chunk of parliamentary seats, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like that. And uh, I'm sure that... Uh, 
it will be a huge challenge for the new coalition to govern, uh, to rule, uh, because they uh, will not only have the huge um, uh, opposition and strong opposition uh, in the parliament, but uh, this opposition, the peace party, the right-wing uh, party, has also the president, uh, Andrzej Duda, on its side. It means that even a uh, law passed by by the parliament could be blocked by uh, by the president. So he can try in different ways to uh, yeah to block to block different uh, different rules of law made by, by this parliament. And we uh, shouldn't forget that. Uh, Many judges uh, are also under the control of the Peace Party because this party uh, reformed the judicial system uh, in a way that now it is totally, almost totally under control of this government. It means of this party, mm -hmm. of the Peace mm -hmm. Party. Monica, just briefly, could you tell us why this expected outcome would be so important for the European Union? Uh, it is important because uh, uh, probably the, um, the new coalition government would uh, uh, try to repair uh, all the damaged uh, relations uh, between Poland and Brussels. Uh, the last uh, eight years of uh, the peace government were, were marked by uh, many conflicts, many disputes over uh, the rule of law, over the judicial reform. Uh, which is putting the uh, judicial system in Poland under the state control, and also over the control of the pub, uh, over the public media, which the Peace Party has. So mm -hmm. the new coalition uh, promises to change everything, every reforms, and uh, to make uh, also to make uh, the relations, the relations mm -hmm. to the EU much better than before. Monica uh, Shiradska reporting from Warsaw. Thank you so much.